Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Fortunately, it's dark. Literally as I'm starting this. I feel like the day-night cycles in this game are brutal. At least Minecraft is like every 15 minutes. This game like, feels like it's like every hour and a half. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. I asked on YouTube, and I did a little poll, and asked what you guys would prefer to see. Um, a stream of me doing this or a video? Yeah, the sun's just going down. Crap! And from what I've seen, a lot of people said video, which, you know, it's it's still early on in the poll, but I think it's best to do it as a video anyway, because I can fast forward it, and I can do a time lapse of it for you. Um, I didn't think it would be interesting to stream it, uh, simply because all I'm literally doing is building, okay? All I'm literally doing right now is, uh, is building. So I'll show you what my plan is. So I've started laying the foundation. Um, you can see it goes down to here, and then I've just put the bottom blocks down, because this right here is going to be the floor. I just figured out that you can put, actually, these half blocks, these half slabs, just like you can in uh, Minecraft. Go figure. Uh, so I've started using those because I feel like it'll be easier and quicker. To, a, it takes up less materials to build, and B, to actually, you know, weld them together, it'll take less time. Uh, but basically, what I'm building here... And also, if you haven't seen me build this thing, this was built by, on stream, by the way, by the stream. Like, the people in chat walked me through this entire thing. This is a miner. We painted orange, obviously, in homage of the Star Citizen, the mole. So, that's what we have here. This is the mole. It's called the Marmite Mole, because Marmite, you either love it or hate it. And that's kind of what was happening in the chat, so that's what someone recommended we name it. So, that's what we've named it. So, if you want to see that, the live stream video is up on the channel. Uh, you can just skip through and, and go check that out. Um, so yeah, here we are. This is... I'm going to show you a few clips now, because I was going to make a video of how I got to this stage. But I feel like since I've been streaming this game a little bit now, I feel like it would be weird to watch a video. You know, you've already seen where I'm at, so why would you go back? So I'll throw in a few clips of me getting to this point right now. So take a look at this. Well, that just scared the life out of me. Um, <laughs> so, we're just waiting. I don't know how to charge this. I've not a clue. But uh, our base is up there still looking as good as always. So, we're just going to wait for help to arrive. I've no idea where it's coming from. But uh, when it arrives, then we'll uh, I'll catch you guys back up. So, I'll be back. All right, he says he's here. Oh, I'm going to assume this is him because there's no one else that's flown past me yet. Here it is. What is this little badger he's built? So he's built this out of his ship. Or out of his pod. <laughs> I have no idea what's... Okay. What? <laughs> what is happening, guys? I think he's moving me? <laughs> Alright, he's lifting me up. Alright. We bloody dropped. That was awesome, guys. I mean, he's came, saw, conquered, helped us out. He moved our little one of these bad boys up here, even though this thing's dead. So I guess I need to build another power supply for this. This is so confusing. There's so many just intricate things that... Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's so many intricate things that when you know the game, obviously, it's easy to... You know, it's kind of like second nature. But when you don't, like me... Oh my god. See how bright his ship was? Now I can't see a bloody thing. Um, but like people like me, this is going to take a lot to learn. For sure. But we've added two things to it. Alright, so as you can see, uh, <laughs> I literally started that video that I was going to record. Someone, funnily, in the chat, in the comment section of the first video I made, was like, Oh, it didn't start with an explosion. And, uh, yeah, well, that video did start with an explosion. I just decided we're not going to make that into a video. And you can see how my, um, what was it called? My spawn ship. It was up here. That's because we had help bring it up here. It was <laughs> a lot of things that happened. Um, so that's how we got to where we were before we started the stream and started building this. So before I start building, I'll show you guys a time lapse. Because at night time, it's going to suck. I can't really show you. You can't really get an idea of what's going on. It's going to be night time for an hour, unfortunately, while I'm recording this. Um, so I'll do a time lapse for you. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the dark. I don't bloody know. But first of all, let me show you what I'm thinking. So if I go, like I say, it's night time, so it's hard to bloody see. But you can see... Can you even see? This is so annoying that I'm... Why do I always decide to do this stuff at night? Ah, but basically, let me pull this up. Alright, so this is going to be weird, but this is... 
<laughs> what we're doing. Okay, so let's say, right? So let's say this here is my beginning base that you guys can see, right? So I have like all of these things, right? Bear with me. And then we have the big tower comes up to like here. And then it's got the little fan thing on it. <laughs> it's got the branches. You know what I mean? And this one comes out quite far. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's got the turbines on it. So this is the build. And then obviously, okay, so let's say this is... These are the like survival things and everything. Oh, this is a terrible example. What am I even doing? Why did I decide to do this? And then we have like the basic refinery. Oh, no, we have a refinery up here. This is my refinery. And then we have right here, there's a massive like cargo space. This is making sense to me, okay? This is cargo. And then we have a little thing that comes off it and goes up like this. And then this is the platform where we built our, our ship. Right, the ship, the mining ship we have. So let's say that this is our mining ship. That's where the things come out. And then it's got the big rah, 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 rah on the front. Okay, so this is the ship that we have, the mining ship. All right, so there's our mining ship. This is the base as it is right now. What I'm planning to do that you'll see is I'm, build, I'm extending the thing all the way out here. So it's going to come all the way down and then... I'm going to increase the size so then we're going to put a roof on it so it'll be like this big on the roof is where the landing pads will be so let's just pretend these are like landing pads so this ship will be on one of these landing pads and then if we build other ships they'll be on these landing pads and then i'll build like a spiral staircase that comes up onto the roof and then maybe we'll build some protection or something you know what i mean but that this is going to be later down the road um, but then this big area, this will be gone now because this will be up here on the roof. Let's pretend this is the mining ship. This will be <laughs> up here on the roof. So now this area will have a door probably on the side or on the back area or maybe on the front um, that will kind of come up like so. So let's pretend this is a ramp. All right, this is our ramp that comes up and then we'll have like a big door. And then this will be like a garage, right? A garage. And we'll have, when we eventually build cars or mining trucks or things like that they're all going to be inside of here look at that for an incredible example round of applause D don't worry you don't need to you don't need to okay so <laughs> so now you kind of get an idea i wish it was bloody daytime so basically up here like on top we're going to make the roof bigger and then this little thing is going to be on the roof and then this is the garage that i showed you so there'll be a door, maybe we'll have one on the front, maybe it'll be on the back here, or maybe it'll be on the side. And then when you come in, you can see it's pretty big, so we should be able to park quite a few cars inside of here. So what I'm going to do right now, and maybe do a time lapse, I'm not sure, but it's night time, so I'm just going to work through the night. And I'll come back to you guys as soon as it's daytime. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this floor. We're going to put these half slabs down across. Underneath, there's not going to be anything, okay? There's nothing going to be underneath there. Um... Maybe we'll have a ramp that comes up to get into here. I don't know. We haven't decided that far. Anyway, I need to finish the floor. So we're going to finish the floor and then uh, we'll go from there because it's stupid, stupid face nighttime. So anyway, let's go. All right, there we go. So we've built the floor of this section, as you can see right here. So this whole thing, it looks big, but I don't know how big we're going to need it. You know what I mean? To put cars and stuff inside of it. So we've made it big enough. This thing is going to be like a fortress. We're going to have like turrets on top of it. We're going to have, um, we'll have some solar panels. It'll be a beast. It'll be a goddamn beast. So, fuel low. oh, we're going to have fuel. <laughs> Fuel critical. Freaking hell just happened there. Okay, uh, that was fun. So yeah, the floor is built, ladies and gentlemen. 
So I'm gonna have to learn how to build stairs and ramps and all of that stuff, but I think what we'll do in this video is we'll just build the outline. You know what I mean? And then we're gonna have to go through and like weld all these bloody things. Um, I'll just shoot quick. Nah, it's not as long as I thought. Okay. But yeah, we'll go through, we'll weld everything together, make sure it looks good. Um, but I'll do that off video, off stream, because you don't sit here and watch me go all the way through, you know what I mean? So we'll do that off stream. But, um, so what I need to do now is build the sides. I gotta figure out how we're gonna do the sides on this behemoth and how high we're gonna go. Because it is gonna be high. So don't forget, we're gonna have a landing pad. And then we're gonna put these even higher than the landing pad. It's gonna be... It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Let's go. Alright. So there... Oh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> so there it is. There is the frame. Let me just fill up here and make sure that I'm healthy. Okay, so there's the frame done. You can hopefully see it. You're going to have to wait for some daytime to be able to see it a little bit better. But we've, uh, you can see it there. So we've built a frame around the whole thing. This thing's just going to be like a tank. You know what I mean? It's just going to be a very heavily armored, big, long rectangle um, that we're building, basically. The roof, like I say, is going to be where we put our ships. We're going to have a ship, like our ships can land up there. But then down here, this will be where our, um, everything else will be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But this is, this is the idea, anyway. And then we have to do, like, once we build the frame, then we've got to do, the, like, the wiring, basically. We've got to decide, okay, where are the spaceports going to be? Um, and then I've got to use these bad boys right here. These little conveyors, is that what they're called? Conveyor tubes. We've got to start building those. And figure out where these things are going to be. And then we've got to wire it all up. Because everything has to be all connected to the base. The whole base has to be connected, right? So we'll probably end up breaking some things down. But for now, this is going to be our main area. And then this will be like our... Um, basically, our warehouse. Where we can do whatever we want. We can build things inside the warehouse. We can have maybe a door on top. Right? So we can build things in the warehouse. Press a button. And then the roof opens up. And then you can fly out of it. That would be cool, maybe. That would actually be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> but that would be something cool. Like, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for so far, this is... Uh, we've, got the, we've got the scaffolding up. We've got the scaffolding up. All right, guys. So we've done the entire... Well, we haven't done the entire floor. The sun is coming up. We've done a lot of the floor. We've switched out a lot of the full blocks to half blocks. Um, except for the walls, obviously they're going to be solid. Did I break one here? Sure, but he did. Uh, the only thing that I can't change, like even if I do like a half block, it's not letting me put anything in here. I'm not sure why, it let me put them in these other places, but it's not letting me put anything in here. Even if I do a full block, it's not letting me put it in. I'm assuming it's got something to do with the stuff that I have above it, even though there's like nothing above. I don't know, but it's not letting me do it here, so we'll have to wait on that. Um... But I'm not going to worry about that too much. Obviously, all of these I need to change as well. Um, but this is the floor. Now, if I look, I'm just honestly curious to see what this looks like, if I'm being honest. Um, so, we can do probably, like, wood in the how, Like, in the more common. What if I do it? Okay. So, I can see what this is going to look like. We could probably do more of like a wood color inside, I'm thinking. But like inside, what does that look like? Or do we do clean armor? What does that look like? Oops, wrong button. So there's this basic stuff. Or this clean. I'm going with clean. We could do maybe a little bit of battered. I think clean just looks good. The way we're building this warehouse, I want it to look bright and very like, you know, just super bright and awesome. That's what I'm going for. So I think we'll do the clean one. That's what I'm going for. Someone said if I hold down... I can do that. Or I can do big blocks. What if I hold down? <laughs> that just saved me a lot of time. That just did absolutely everything. Okay, I'm glad I listened to that in the uh, 
the stream earlier this morning. So there we go. The whole floor is done. That makes my life a little bit easier. What if I was to do that on this? Would that work? No. I was trying to see if I could just weld everything at once. But, I mean, listen. I, that's obviously not going to work. But the floor is done. So now, let me show you guys what it looks like real quick. Now that the sun has almost come up, we've got an hour now that I can... I don't know what these are in the sky. Maybe asteroids? I'm guessing. They've been in the sky since I've been on the server. So, look at it. This is what our baby looks like. Now you can get an idea of exactly what I was trying to say. Um, so, obviously, down here, this is going to be like the living side. They'll have a staircase that goes up to the top. And then on the top is going to be... We'll have the landing pads. And we'll do like a staircase that comes up to it. And then we'll move these things and we'll make it better. We'll have big solar panels up here as well. Um, and then the, this will be all down here. This is going to be like our garage. If we need to expand it, we will. But this is going to be like our garage warehouse where we can build things uh, inside of here. Now the grass is kind of annoying, not going to lie. Having a little bit of grass in here. I'm not sure... If I could trim that, I think I'd probably have to get the drill tool and drill down into the mountain to get rid of it. But for now, it's not worrying me too much, uh, but I probably will change that around. You know what's cool about this view that I did earlier? Look at this. Especially now the sun's coming up. It's like a ride. Look. Awesome. Don't wanna die. Look how beautiful it is. And then here is where our compound is gonna be. It may end up getting bigger. It may end up, it's not going to get smaller, but it may end up getting bigger. But uh, a lot of people are building these cool mountain bases. This is my first one, you know. Maybe we'll do a mountain base later on down the line. This server's going to be open forever. Um, maybe we'll do a mountain base then. But for now, this is just going to be our compound. We're going to have a nice view. Maybe some glass windows, you know what I mean? Make it look cool. Um, I'm thinking about upgrading, like I say, the outside to the heavy armor. It's just very expensive. Um... For me right now. I'm sure later down the line it's not. And I'm sure it takes forever to build too. But this is it. This is going to be our little compound. See, this is why I asked you guys if I should stream it or not. I don't think that would have been entertaining to stream. Um, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. So we'll continue it right now. I'll finish building the blocks around the sides. Um, start welding those. Obviously, it's just all scaffolding right now. Um, we're gonna have an entrance. I don't know whether to have the entrance We'll probably have a walk-in entrance here to get into this side. I Don't know. I haven't figured that part out too much yet, but that's this is what we have so far I like it a lot and then this little badger. Oh when I did that it literally changed the color of everything even these things Okay, everything is turned into the clean color. You know what? I'm not gonna be mad about it. It did everything. That's fine with me. It didn't change the our mole though, so that's good. But everything's looking clean. Everything's looking clean. So you can build a drill to make drilling easier. Can you build a welder? You can build a welder. A ship welder. Can you build motorcycles? Imagine if I had a tiny little buggy that I just drive around. But I can't fly. That's the issue. I'd need to build a small ship to weld like it would have to be something similar to this but a lot smaller and it would just have one welding drill on it that way I could weld like all of this stuff super fast I think that's what I'm gonna have to do you know right now that's just gonna make my life so much easier having a freaking welder I mean just showing how fast these are Compared to this drill, I mean, look at the size difference. So imagine this little badger, but that big. I think we're going to have to do it, you know? I think we're going to have to build a welding ship. All right, guys. All right, guys, a decision has been made. 
I feel like I need to build a ship. And I went on YouTube and I typed in a ship and I typed, and it found a, a, an easy, easy welding ship. Uh, but obviously, where am I going to place it to recharge? The roof here is where these things are going to be eventually. Um, I don't know if we'll have a ship hangar, like on top or what. But they're, they're going to be up here anyway. So I feel like I need to build something up here. Um that this ship can dock in instead of docking it down here um or should we just dock it down there to begin with and then move it i feel like it would make more sense how many ship docks am i gonna have up here like landing pads probably and then other people can come visit me because they can land and dock here as well i feel like i should have multiple docking pads here um maybe i'll build the sun's up. If I'm going to build a ship, I need to build it while the sun's up. Um, docking pad. Where should I build it? Should I just build it up here? You know what? I'm going to build it down here for now. Maybe I'll build it, like, right next to the one we have. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow a tutorial on how to build this bloody thing. We're going to build a welder so I can weld our entire building without having to do it by hand, because it'll take forever. Okay, so we've built a leg. That's as far as we've got. Absolutely fantastic. All right, first things first, cockpit. Bob's your uncle, bada bing, bada boom. Next up, guys, oxygen tank. So I gotta put that, boom, right there. Oxygen tank. Completed. All right, next up, conveyor junction. That's gonna go, boom, right there. Conveyor junction <gasps> completed. So I think, guys, because this build has the conveyor junction or the connector on the back, not on the top, on the bottom. I think I could just switch this around to face downwards, but I think I'm gonna build it the same way as he has. So we're gonna switch this out. So instead of being like this, we're gonna have it facing. Um, facing outwards. Okay. Okay, so now what we need to do is put the connector... Boom. On the back. Like so. Alright, there we go. Connector in place. Alright, next up, conveyor tubes. More conveyor tubes. Because we love conveyor tubes. So it's going to go... This way, I believe, like so, and then on the other side, right here, facing this way. Those two badges. One done. Need more components. All right, guys. Next up, we have medium cargo. So that's going to go right here. Let me just flip it. Two. Complete. There we go. Okay, so now what I need... Is the welder. <laughs> this is the exciting part. Okay, two welders. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, guys. Welder. It's gonna go on here. Which way? Does it matter? One there. Ooh. One there. Let's put these bad boys together. Looking good, looking good. All right, guys, so next up, batteries. You all know we love some batteries when we're building ships, don't we? That's what we like to bloody do. Three batteries. Let's get building. All right, there we go. Three batteries added. This should give us about 45 minutes worth, I think, of weld power. All right, what's next? Next up, thrusters. We've got a little antenna. Boom. Well, this bad boy. I guess the antenna, if the ship gets lost and things like that. All I have is the antenna in there. I don't know why. That thing just scared the crap out of me. Why? Why is it adding all this stuff in if I don't even need it? Radio com. Oh my god. 
Look at this bloody disco ball. <laughs> it's ver look at his helmet. Oh, he's got emo. How the bloody hell do you emo? Hold on, let me see if I can talk to him real quick. Ver, that thing's sick. You like it? The bloody big disco ball. <laughs> my gift to you. What is it? This is a uh, mining ship. I have one. I know, but you don't have one like this. I was about to scrap it, so I figured I'd give it to you. Is it unlocked? I changed the ownership to nobody. Okay. So you should be able to claim it. I'm in the middle of it. building a, um, a welding ship. Nice. What do you think? Cool. That'll help with all the, uh, all this stuff, definitely. Did you do all the rest of this by hand? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty tedious, right? Yeah, and then halfway through I discovered, or I realized that chances are I could probably build one of these things. Sure enough, I could. Yeah. Um, so how are you gonna? What am I gonna do with this mining ship? Am I gonna have to build somewhere to dock it? Otherwise, it's gonna be dead, right? Uh, it, it's got. Well, let's see how long it has. Sitting idle, it has. Look at this for a gift, guys. <laughs> oh, he's got a little antenna too. Sitting idle, it has two days of power. Okay, so that's just like it's not on or anything. It's just turned off sitting here. Yeah, it's powered up. I just turned off the thrusters. So this thing's sick. <laughs> I, Did you I build another one? A little bit for you. Yeah, I built another one that's very similar. But I made cha enough changes where I had to... I was just going to scrap this one and use it for parts. Oh, okay. Uh, but at the last second, I was like, you know what? Maybe someone else can use it. I don't know how far along you were with yours, so... My, uh, my mole over here? Yeah. Nice. So you get the giant thrusters on the side to get you out of the holes? Yeah. Nice. So do you need to ride back to your place? No, I got um, I got four bottles. I should be able to make it. Oh, it's okay. not that far. I mean, I can't give you a ride anyway. None of my ships have two seats. Nah, that's fine. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Grind it down. Use How it. How do you do emotes? It's uh, in the... Um, G menu. In the what menu? The, when you hit G, when you select the uh, thing you want to build or, or uh, yeah, put in your hotbar, there's uh, emotes. Oh! Aha! And you know you have more than one hotbar, right? Yeah, I do now. I figured okay. that out today. So, okay. the um, like the frostbite, I thought I bought that the pack that had everything. Obviously not, because I don't have the frostbite stuff. That's the very latest one that might not be in a pack yet. Okay. But, not sure. I'll worry about that later. Alright, cool, awesome, thank you. I like how he's got flashing lights and everything on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got two days of power, so we're gonna have to build our docks, right, up on this roof. We're gonna have a bunch of ship docks, so people can come and land here, and I can put all my ships there, and this is gonna have to be one of them. Uh, I should have probably told him to park it over here. I guess I could move it. Nah, we'll leave it there for now. What the bloody hell. Anyway, let's get back to uh, our build here. So we've got the antenna on there. Alright, let's see what's next up on the build. Alright, boom. Two gyroscopes. Oh, they're the bloody... <sighs> they're not facing the same direction. We're gonna have to break them. There we go. Didn't break anything, did I, while I was doing that? Alright, we're good. Alright, now we have the antenna and two gyroscopes on the bad boy right here. Next up, spotlights. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go, two spotlights on her. Okay, next up, we're gonna put some landing gear on this. 
Mainly because I'm following a build, but it's this ship's got rear docking, right? This ship doesn't have... Um, we're not docking down, so... I'm going to put it in the same place this fella put his. Alright. So there we have it. Alright guys, the only thing... He said he has two days on that, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We'll move it in a little bit, maybe when it's daytime. The only other thing I want to put on this is a, um, is a camera. So I can see where I'm going to be um, docking. You know what I mean? So, first of all, let me see if I can... Okay, so what I'm going to do on this vent is I'll put one little block. No, nope, didn't mean to do that. Ah, shh, okay. Didn't break anything else, did I? Okay. So I think just one little block. I don't think that's going to damage anything. I mean, I say that. Could I be wrong? 100%. And then a camera right there. All right. So there we have it. So I should be able to see. And uh, hopefully those thrusters don't burn it. But I think this is it. I think this is the ship built. Alright, so I think I can just break these. Okay. So here's the ship. Now I need to get in it. Where's my cockpit? Okay, I need to back it into where we're going. I don't have the camera activated yet. So I'm going to have to do this manually. Um, okay, and I'll put camera... So I should now be able to eight, and I can see the camera that I've put on the back. So if I turn the thrusters on, uh, unlock the wheels. It's green, it's locked. How do I get these wheels though? Because these wheels just keep auto locking. I think I've done it though. <laughs> I think it's green, which means it's locked. But the wheels, I need to, we need, I need to check these. Okay, I had it on auto lock. So as soon as they touch, it locks. So I've turned it off auto lock. So now it should be... I think that's it, guys. I think we've bloody... <laughs> We're going to have to wait, though, until daytime to test this thing out, I think. And we need to choose a color. I think blue. Welding just seems blue. I need to move the miner as well. We'll probably move... Let's move his miner. Okay, this <laughs> freaking disco ball, man. It flies really well. This thing flies really well. This is super easy to fly. I like it. Okay, let's just put it down right here. Mine doesn't have landing gear. Okay. Wheels are locked. Engines off. Okay, so I think, are those wheels locked? Okay, now they're locked. All right, this is a cool ship though. Thanks for this. Look at that thing. This is sick. <laughs> it's got way more thrusters than mine. Yeah, this is a cool ship. The disco ball thing, just I can't look at it. Wow, when I saw this thing coming through the air, man. Alright, guys, we're probably going to wait for daytime here. Oh, I should turn my lights off, shouldn't I? Let's actually set this up on here. Um, figured it out. Okay, there we go. I'm learning. See, we're doing much better. So now this thing's completely off. This thing's completely off. Now we have two ships on our base. I feel like I should turn the lights off on this just until I build the big dock up here for it. If I hit eight... All the lights are off. The sun's bloody coming up, guys. <laughs> you know what that means. we got to take this thing for a spin. I don't know if I'm going to build this whole top. We'll see. We'll see how long this thing takes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be incredibly fast. If it is, 
We may start construction so that we can plug this thing in. All right, guys, I think it's time. The sun isn't really coming up, but it's daytime. First things first, I need to change the color of this. Color of the ship. So I think it should, the charge on it should be, uh, where's the batteries on this thing? Okay, so it's not, it's definitely not, I forgot to bloody set it to charge, that's why I'm an idiot. Okay, so now the batteries should be charging on it. I wasn't, I, did, I forgot, I forgot that little touch, okay? Alright, so I said I wanted to paint this thing blue. Clean armor, I think that's a good color. Alright, let's test it. This is very blue. All right, let's paint the whole thing. I think I may change these two blocks to slopes instead. I think that's it. I think that's everything on it has been changed to blue. Oh, we missed a few thrusters. This one we kept on black. I'm tempted to turn these all orange too. I reckon we turn those orange boards to the same orange. No, it's like bloody yellow. How do I color match it? Is that close enough? Yeah, you can't tell the difference, man. Alright, there we go. Oops. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the orange, the mole, which is my mining ship right here. And then, should I change the color of that too, or nah? You know what, we'll change the color of that too for now. So we've got my mole. The, uh, what's, what do we call this? Marmite mole. And then we've got my new welding ship. Willy the welder, he's gonna be called. How do I change the name of the ship? I forgot. Cockpit. Willy the welder. <laughs> and there we bloody have it. Now I need to take this thing for a spin. I just wanna wait till its batteries are charged fully though. Do I have to put things into it to mine it? Like, how does this work? Do I have to put things in with this? I'm assuming. Or does it just weld by itself, right? It doesn't need anything in it to weld. But surely it needs steel plates inside of it. Because we have two... We have three drills. Willy the welder. Do I just put it inside of Willy the welder? Do I just put this stuff in here? Steel plates don't go in there. So what is this then? What does it hold? A thousand steel plates here. I'm assuming this is what we do. Because the welder itself, you can't put anything into it. So I'm assuming you just keep them in the cargo containers. You could fill these up with tons of... Uh, well, I say tons. That's about as much as you can do, almost. I don't think you can put them in the connector. You can put them in the connector. We won't do. Oxygen tank is empty. I think I need to put ice in there, I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, it's got a... It's got a license plate on it. That's cool. Hey, the batteries on this thing are looking low. If those are the batteries, I see a little bit of green. All right, he's full. Willie the welder is full. Let's test this thing out. <laughs> okay. Okay, everything's good. So let's unlock the landing gear. Let's make sure locked, ready to. Okay. So let's unlock that. Let's turn on the thrusters. Thrusters aren't moving. Ship's not moving. Alright guys, we did it! Thanks for the help. So, what did I do wrong? I've already forgot how I fixed it. Oh, I forgot to put the welding things on. Hold on, let's go back. Let's back it up. It's pretty heavy, so I'm gonna take it slow. <laughs> Cool ship though, right? My little Willy the Welder. It's not doing anything. Oh. What am I doing wrong, do you think? I really have to get that close? 
This is proving to be very difficult, I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to be flying through this. I thought I'd literally be able to just look at it and it would do something. The issue I'm having is it's moving forward by itself quite a lot. I literally have to be touching. Like, I'm not pressing any of my thrusters right now, but this thing is just going forward by itself. Okay, now it's stopped. First of all, I thought this distance, and then you just dr dr done. This thing is not doing the way I thought it would. I have to basically be on it. Look how close I have to bloody get. I mean, it's fast, don't get me wrong. But it's got a bloody mind of its own. I think I'm just gonna have to get used to it, aren't I? There we bloody go. gotta be right on top of everything. Look how it's just not easy to handle. Maybe I'm gonna have to change it. The thrusters or something. Is that it? Have I run out of like materials now? ran out so it did that much it's not the mo it's mm. i'm not as impressed as i thought i was gonna be but i think i'm just gonna have to get used to it a little bit more this thing goes forwards incredibly fast and it just goes by itself it's like this thing's on freaking autopilot look at it okay we've locked hmm okay interesting turn the welders off engines off lights are already off Camera, okay, so then I need to turn. So what it was, by the way, I've just remembered, um, is I had the batteries on wrong. Well, shit, bats. Now they're on recharge. I had it on recharge, so I couldn't fly it. I forgot. My bad. All right, so there's the well chip. We took it for a test drive. It was definitely easier than me doing this, because I did that whole block there, but... I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do it, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do it. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave without leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new, turn on the notifications, all that good stuff. That was a lot of fun building it. I'm going to have to get used to it, or I'm going to have to fix it somehow. Because it, you have to get so close to what you're trying to do. I felt like these welders would have given you more range. So you didn't have to be on top of it, like maybe a two block range, so you don't have to... You literally basically have to touch what you're trying to bloody weld. It's kind of annoying. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.